Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another fantastic, super awesome episode of Let's Play Stormblood. Yugiri has stormed off to assassinate Xenos, and I don't see this going well. Yeah, so we get to find where she's went off to and hopefully we can talk her out of things before everything goes south. Yeah, being reckless and impulsive is your thing. So where is she off to, fancy map? Where is she off to? Okay, so she's right outside of town, so we can teleport. Cool. You Gary, I think you cray cray. I understand why you want to do this, but I think you cray cray. Okay, now we get to see your hawk that apparently has just shown up. We have spies in the castle? Okay, well that explains how we knew the prince was there. Okay. And this feather on the book on my back is poking through my arm and I can't unsee this. No, no, no. You, you ain't doing this alone, okay? If, if we're gonna do this, I need a rematch. We're gonna do this. I'm not gonna let you do it alone. I still think you cray cray, but... I can't say my resume is much cleaner either. What are you doing here, Issei? Keep, keep your inner monologue to yourself, lest you be overheard and... <sighs> oh, great. So where are we up to now? Oh, all the way over here? Ugh. Yeah, that's gonna be a little long travel time. Thankfully, we have the power of fast forward.
Uh. What? Huh. Wasn't expecting this. But okay, um, maybe you, Gary, can explain this to me after we take care of our impending problem. So yeah, nice beginner, nice, nice, super close-up shot of the gates, not of the carbuncle, but that. <laughs> Get some more stuff for our healer too. We still need to put the stuff on, but I have to re glamour it, and I don't really have that many impending combat things that will depend on my gear, so. Well, can we not find a way to, like, activate the field right in the middle of the crossing and, like, electrify him to death or something? I mean, and that sounds a bit crazy, too, but... Well, it's like 9.30 in the morning, so we get a long way till evening. You know what this means, guys. Here's hoping. Is there an off switch on this scarf? He comes. The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. Hmm, there's a province than a graveyard. The rotting husk of a broken nation devoid of proper sport. Ah, but as his radiance wishes... Y yes of course, my lord. I I and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. God, you can cut this tension with a knife. We labored long to sow the seeds of hatred, of fear. To train them as beasts. 
Now we shall see the harvest. Let there be savage beasts baying for blood, and not hollow-eyed prey cowering in the dark, or there will be no joy in this hunt. Well, you're about to be disappointed. She pretty quick, gotta give her that. Hacks, hacks, I call hacks. Ambush! Shinobi? And me without my brute. So, why don't we kill her while we're here, too? How weak you are. Is this the sum of your hate? Like, like, why does no one ever think this is an option, too? Like, shouldn't she be on the schedule as well to be escorted through here? I mean, she's she's not quite as bad as, you know, this jerk-off is. But that would get rid of one problem? Why, why is this not an option? This is only the beginning. For Lord Kyed! For Doma! Ah! Mayhap, I shall test this new blade of yours. Let us hope it is to my liking, lest your misfortunes compound. Then again, I am loath to expend such effort on the unworthy. Come, earn the honor. So we're just gonna let the rest of the guards live? Um, okay, all right. A acting Viceroy sitting duck over there? All right. Yeah, we already know who you are. Yeah, that's thing has got a point. There's only two of us and they can't even kill us. Yeah, oh, getting out of that. I learned from last time, I'm not gonna be dumb. Well, at least they're going after you, Geary. I mean, not that I want them to kill her or anything like that, but... Hey, 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 how does, how does that miss still? How does that miss? Oh god, I don't like the looks of that. Look, she's a freaking sitting duck over here! What the heck, game? Like, she's not even, like, running or hiding or cowering or anything. Like, her bodyguard is not here. Like, she's, she's not a fighter, so... They're getting the heck out of here, or at least getting somewhere to temporary safety would be a good idea, but apparently the game has decided not to have that be an idea. Well, at least I'm actually doing some level of damage to him this time. I mean, his HP bar is going down. I mean, I'm, I'm missing, even though accuracy has been removed from the game, you cheater. Yugiri, are you doing okay? You, 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 you're taking a lot of heavy fire over there. Why do I keep missing? Ugh. Dinos, you're such a cheater. 
I won't lose, though. I will not. This is not gonna end the way it did last time. For our amigo! For Doma! For, well, everybody. Oh, I just stood that like a schmuck. This day you die! Do it, you Gary, do it! Do it! Leave this to me! Hey. You can't call a timeout in the middle of this. Let us put you to the proof. How can you can you can get a massive heal and I can't. No, I must fight on. I must. Come on, you Gary, you can do it. You can do it. Run, Come on. Oh god, what is this? What is this? Oh, phew. Alright, at least I can beat your buddy doubles, but come, come on, come on, what has happened? Alright, no, 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 this, this is going exactly like it did the first time, no. No, oh, come on. What are you freaking made of? Give me something to remember. Dramatic slow walk what's giving him all these fancy powers. Is that why I keep doing that every time I walk into a new area? Well, if that's the case, it seems to be working a lot better on him than it is on me. I don't know. Why is your HP not moving? Run, beast, run. No, I'm not running. We ain't doing this again. Don't stop now. Oh, if I can actually get my freaking sprint off, that would be nice. Well, I can't say I've ever failed that duty before. I'm going to do that all over again. Well, that was crappy and embarrassing, but maybe if I didn't talk crap the whole time, maybe I, you know, would actually pay more attention to what I'm doing. Alright, take two seems to be going a bit better. And one thing I did not immediately notice until the second run is, if you notice his, uh... His, his guards are not here anymore because when he went all Super Saiyan and stuff, um, yeah, he killed them all. Run, beast, run! Don't stop now! I mean, not that he really needed them in the first place, but... I think all that heavy armor is weighing you down. Um, do you mind? Do you mind if we switch? You know, maybe you can prove your better, you know, your personal badassery better if you know it didn't carry all that. Is this is this you or is this the armor? Run, beast, run! Well, technically, I could run because this guy is a master of the slow walk. So, uh, yeah, I could get away long before he would eventually catch up to me. I mean, it doesn't solve my liberating Doma or Alamegan problem, but... Mm, I see. Hey, hey, stop cheating!
Ah, I remember you, Alamigo, the champion of the savages. Yes, do you not recognize my slippers? Look ye where the sun doth rise, see crimson embers darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall, see azure lost amidst the squall. Okay, what does that even mean? That's it? That's all I did to him? At least I broke his weapon last time. Oh, how right I was to spare your life. No, you Gary, you Gary, if you could come out of your unconsciousness and trank dart him right when he's got his helmet off, that would be fantastic. Least Gosetsu, please tell me you followed me or something. Also, acting viceroy still is sitting duck over there. Hear me, hero. Endure. Survive. Live. Okay. For the rush of blood. For the time between the seconds, live. For the sole pleasure left me in this empty, ephemeral world, live! Well, it was worth a try. You are not worthy. Oh, don't you even. Uh, hi. What are you people doing here? I'm grateful to see you, but maybe you want to get the heck out of here. Imperial dog! No, don't. You must. You must flee. Yeah, run. Run We're the not other going way. Anywhere. Do you hear me? We're not running away. What you're doing is stupid and reckless, and I never wanted any part of it. But here we are. I've spent my whole life hating myself. For every time they made me beg, for every time I held my tongue to protect the people I love. And then you came along and reminded me of all the things I never said and never did, and it was even worse. I would have given anything to forget, to walk away, but I knew I'd never be able to live with the guilt. So we came, all of us, for you, for ourselves, for Dorma! She gotta cry. Death is death, regardless of the reason. Yet you seem determined to die, intruding upon this sacred ground, turning weapons you can scarcely wield upon me. Your lives will not even begin to redress the balance. How wrong you are! Oh, thank you. Go now, Gusetsu. See to Yugiri. Hi. Oh, okay. Apparently, we still have some leftover smoke bombs. <sighs> I can't see a damn thing. Someone stop them! Do something. My lord? And yet, still nobody thinks to rid themselves of her. Like, no one even thinks to mention this? Nobody tries? Like, I- I, I do not understand that. That she-, she like, there, there- there's- oh, 
freaking bear thing. Get away from me. Ugh. Like, no one even thinks to try or even discuss it and be like, nope, nope, it's too dangerous to even attempt it. You know, we have, we have bigger fish to fry, you know. Like, not even any of that. Why is it that... Oh my god. Stupid local wildlife all the damn time. You're just gonna take too dang long to kill. Um, okay. Well, how did he get there? Yeah, that sounds more like you. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure. Sure you were. You keep telling yourself that, Alize. You keep telling yourself that. Ugh. Okay, so... Alright, so, I'm gonna start this quest real quick, even though we're getting there on time, but it's only because I want to get away from the local wildlife here, so let's get the heck out of here. Well, technically you didn't fight him. Um, I'm, I'm glad I've, I've kind of, you know, awakened a better sense of self-preservation within you all, but... Let's not just get too hasty, okay? Are you gonna be okay? Gosetsu, you're big and strong. Can, um... Maybe you piggyback ride? That would be sweet. Why don't we ever see anyone do that? Like, you know what? I want that for 5.0, okay? Give me, give me some kind of stock footage crap of, even if it's only in a cutscene, just somebody just carrying somebody on their back. Can we please let this happen? I mean, we have Nanamo who's like, you know, perched on Robon's arm and his shoulder and stuff like that. Give me more of that, but just not with a giant man and a Lalafell. You know? Well, I've had better days, but at least I knocked off part of his helmet. You are welcome. And I'm sorry we tried to push you so hard even after you told us no a couple times. That, that was pretty rude of us. How are you feeling, my lady? Much the better for my comrade's ministrations and your most generous hospitality. You need not worry. Good. If there is anything else we can do for the two of you, Anything at all, just ask. How about lunch? I need some more practice with chopsticks and all. I'd love to go back home to Revenant's Toll and- Stare any harder and you'll like to burn a hole in them. Go and say your piece, for goodness sake. I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on. Well, okay then. Gosetsu, Mistress Alize. I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety, and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. 
Scorning your wise counsel, I knowingly defied our master's wishes and left you no choice but to follow suit. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words and the intent therein. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. You must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. Your pug? In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. That it does. There are no words which will suffice. But thank you. So why didn't we drag Alphano here? And there they are! Oh, there he is. Twelve be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new primal slayer. No, oh, Alphano, shut it. No, 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 we're not doing, we're not having this conversation again, all right? No, no. I'm sorry we couldn't be there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. Well, you did the last time, so... Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. What? You'll forgive me for changing the subject, but now would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signaled our intentions in so doing. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. Given that we lack the strength to oppose them, tis plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time, with whom I was privileged to share a womb. Aww! Group hug, everybody! If you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches, and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid. Well, they're kind of an ocean away, so... Even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire. It would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Fortunately, according to Tataru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. That being the case, a popular uprising, spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front, may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. It would be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. Then we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return, for there is no surer way to inspire our people to rise up as one. He desired proof of his subjects' conviction, and they have provided it, through no lesser deed than openly opposing Xenos himself! It will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him. Yeah, third time's a charm, right? So I thought, really thought that cutscene was a bit later in the story. 
actually. I really thought that was several, several quests forward. I'm trying not to make these episodes so long, guys, but I keep... I have such misplaced memory of where a lot of these cutscenes are and the length of them, so I apologize so much. So we're gonna leave talking to our friends. Until next time, let us rest up and reflect on events happened and, you know, have you, Gary, s just sit and calm down for a bit. Maybe we'll get some more experience with eating with chopsticks. Maybe we'll try out the local cuisine, you know. They said, you know, what can we do for you? And I say, feed me lunch. So, maybe we'll do that. So, thank you for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.